I'm working on a 2011 Citroen DS3. This is the 1.6 HDI. Um, it's the 110 horsepower D Sport model. Now, I've had issues with this car. It's only done 86,000, which I don't think is a lot of miles for a diesel. But I've had two injectors replaced, and I think I might have had them replaced unnecessarily. Now, the reason for this is what I've found. Um, I had two injectors replaced, and uh, it cost about four pound, uh, four hundred and fifty pounds each injector to do, which is a lot of money. And when this third one started playing up, I thought I'm going to have to try and have a look myself because I just can't afford to keep changing injectors. Now, what I've found is something that might save you guys a lot of money, and I really hope it does. Anyway, to get to your injectors on this particular engine, it's the easier one. It's not the older style where they're pressed in and you've got to take the uh, inlet manifold off. It's the uh, the newer type. Um, so I'll show you how to get to it, and I'll show you a quick way of getting the airbox out to give you enough space to work on the car. Anyway, so the first thing you need to remove, you need to take off this panel. I'll just grab it for you. Which is this cover here? It's really simple. It slides on, and then it's got two push rubber seals on here. You literally just force it up with a bit of pressure, and then this will just slide out there. Uh, once you've got that off, you just need a deep 13 mil socket, which will then take these out, like so. And after that, you need to take some piping off um, to get the, the airbox out. So what I'll do is, um, what I found was the easiest way was to take this connector on. You just lift this little flap here and then pull. And that will then give you a bit of maneuverability when you take the, the box out. So what we're going to do first is, I'm going to try and take this off. This came out a lot easier. There we go. Push it. Uh, I mean, you can pull this off. This is literally just hand tied on like that. And then once you've done that, you have now got the space to wiggle this out of the way, like so. So you're completely free. Okay. Now, when I first looked at it, I was, I was getting, I was using Torque, which is a diagnostic device uh, application for your phone. And what it does is it tells you the engine codes. Now I was getting um, an engine high resistance fault on injector two. Um, now on Citroens, on the DS3, um, I automatically thought that it would be this injector here. Because as you can see, it's one, two, three, and then four. Um, I thought it'd be this one, but it's actually not. Um, it's actually this one. Um, they always count the cylinders from the gearbox end, which is this side. So it was um, one, two, which is this one here. So it's just worth noting that. And then three's there and then four's there. So I was literally just about to start doing this when I noticed something, which I couldn't believe. Now, if you look down here, there is a connector, all right? And this connector, feeds the electrical wiring which feeds up here into the injectors okay now i couldn't believe what i could see down here was a chaff and it looks like what's happened is that someone had refitted the air box and the vibrations from the engine had rubbed through one of these wires so let's see if i can get this off with one hand lift that and pull it yeah so you lift that flap there and pull this out and basically what had happened was if we look at this here so here this had chafed through completely so all i've done is got a an electrical connector here which is like a 
two-way crimp and I cut it out and I just reconnected it okay it's made a perfect fit and then all I did was put it back in like so slide it in click it in and it's done and sure enough when I went to turn the engine over um, it fired straight up and the after I reset the engine management light, the um, it went off. I couldn't believe it. So all this money I've spent on garages, and it's a poor repair in the first place. I could have saved myself nearly a thousand pounds in repairs just by checking this one thing. So I just hope that this helps somebody in my circumstance. Uh, it might even stop this car getting you know bad reviews um to do with fuel injections because at the end of the day if it's just the wire through bad workmanship then hopefully i've saved you saved you a job and saved you a lot of money anyway that's it for me obviously fitting the everything back is a reverse um and yeah i hope it all it works for you like it has for me take care god bless Oh, 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 oh,